Hi guys, Alien Game Cop One here. Long time no see. I have this giant package I got from a uh, Zen Market order, which I've been using and stuff. In here, there is a Japanese Wii U that I ordered, as well as a Famicom. And as you can already see, there's like a Taiko thing and really, really good bubble wrap. This is my first time ever actually ordering something from Z Market, so this is kind of like a blind opening. Like, I didn't know what to really expect. There's like a Wii U Taiko game and with the Wii U and everything, and I even asked, like, oh, please put the Wii U in a bubble wrap thing like this. So, yeah, this is actually going to be part one of Z Market orderings. Uh, there is another package, I just haven't received it yet. It should be here by the 7th of December by DHL, so. I guess I'll be doing like two different types of uh, reviews, like a DHL and FedEx Express, like this one is. Sealed air, so yeah. Oh, yes, they, they pack some of the Japanese newspaper stuff. Oh, that's cool. That'll be fun to look into later. It's probably like my favorite type of thing that they're sent in, like Japanese newspapers. And also with the Famicom, they numbered it by what package number I had. The four games in here, which I'll be opening in just a moment. I'm just going to put everything to the side, just, you know, so I can. And in here, it seems that there's the uh, RF modulator for the Famicom. And the power brick for the Famicom. If I open it up even more down here, it does a really good packing job. Like, wow. I think this is actually the Famicom, which I will be opening in just a sec. Just taking everything out before I proceed to the next part. So yeah, just more more newspaper over here. Very cool, very cool. Gonna put all the packing stuff to the side and oh, oh the 100 song lot of the Wii U. That is amazing. And so here's probably like the accessory bundle for the Wii U. I'm just seeing if there's any, yeah, 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 NMB, uh, yeah, NMB7, that's the Wii U lot, as I was shown. And, yeah, I'm so happy I got this, because if I was going to get this, like, from eBay, like, minimum, this would be, like, $170, $160. So, yeah, that's everything that's in this ba box. I'm just going to put most of the packing material in, and then, yeah, I'll cut to all the rest of the unboxing and stuff, so yep, see you guys in just a sec. Okay, for me, first things first, I really, really want to open this because, oh my gosh, it's just, uh, forgot where the cut thing is. There it is. So yep, got Mr. Cuddy before. So, sorry for the, not really uploading that much. I had some things to upload, but got a new tablet, so couldn't really get access to the videos that well, and with other stuff going on, you know. Sorry, it's been like two months. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Got all the stuff off. And now to take everything out of it. Whoa. And there we go, all the stuff. Has the game, drumsticks, drum pieces, drum, and also it included the other games that I had received in the lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Unbox the drum right now because, well, on here because I, I'm not going to test this right now and it's all nice and packaged and everything. But yeah, let's just, let's open this and the games for the Wii U and stuff. And there's a couple Wii U games who, yeah, see you guys in just a sec. Oh, uh, there we go. So yeah, it came with two of the Tyco games. This one, it said, was already confirmed to be in working order. And we also got Mario U, the game that was shown in that giant box. A physical edition of Wii Sports. We also had this Your First Step to Wii. I actually already had this game, but it was just like the case, and there was like a different game inside there, and also New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which I already have for my Wii. I'm just gonna open up these, see if all the discs are in there. Oh, and this one also has all the packings. Nice. I'm gonna check in the discs after this, but yeah, all the discs is in there. Uh, now for Wii Sports, which I'm a little surprised to see this being an actual, like, full-on thing, and also seems to have some packings back there. 
Wow, a lot of packings. What is this? Some Pokemon packings. We pack in, Touch Generations pack in. Really cool. <laughs> Definitely gonna be fun to go through this later. And now going on with this one, which also has some packings, but I'm not gonna go in there because if I do, this video will be way too long. Like if you request it in the comment section, I might do like a oh look at all the packings and stuff. Looks like Mario Bros. U just comes with the game, no K, no manual. I mean, sorry. And uh, time for these two ones. I. Haven't actually seen inside the package, and it looks like in here there's a, a Wii U gamepad thing and uh, how to play for Mario Bros. U for some reason. And then like some Tyco stuff. I'm just gonna do like a live showing, and then there's like a Club Nintendo gamepad thing. That's weird. Uh, Mario Bros. U instructions, that's weird. Why isn't it in the container? Uh, yeah, looks like the instructions for that. Nice. Uh, I've been wanting to play this game for a while. And now that I have a Japanese Wii U, I can actually play it without region lock. And, uh, yeah, this one game is in here as well. I've seen people on eBay selling this game for as much as, like, I don't know, $50 usually, but there was, like, one person which is selling it for, like, 150 and yeah that is a beautiful disc that is gonna work no problem oh that's cool can't see any pack-ins apart from that one back there but not that much not too much special stuff and now moving on to the next part that um that box Whoa! Oh! okay so yeah i was right this was like an accessory box you got like power cables Another Wii controller, and it has the back cover, so that's really cool. It has the cool sticker that was never put on other Wii controllers in the U.S. That's going to be fun to play with later. And it doesn't feel like there's any batteries in it. And then for some reason we have a couple of these little stand things. I already have one of these for one of my things. And then there's like a little prop-up stand. Well, that's cool. There's a coffee man downstairs. And then you got your AC adapter. You got your, what is this? HDMI cables, basically just cables in here, and uh, looks like you can use maybe this with Joy Sound or something. So, officially nice licensed by Nintendo thing, my goodness. And uh, yeah, has a sensor bar, has everything, really nice, including uh, white Wii U stands, which can be pretty expensive if you don't actually have any of them. So yeah, not that much uh, special stuff that can really add to this unboxing thing. But yeah, now unboxing all this stuff. Boom. Huh. Ah! And okay, just to wrap out the Wii U stuff, we got the Wii U console over here. I just took it out of the plastic and stuff. It is the 32 gigabyte version of it, which is pretty cool. And also we have the gamepad. Sorry for camera jiggles, I'm holding with one hand. Uh, take away this crap <laughs> thing, it's just in your pocket. And still has battery, and the screen works perfectly. The only, like all the scratches that I saw on it, you can barely even see. I'm not going to test this in this video because I have another shipment with a Japanese Wii game to, you know, test and stuff and everything. Uh oh, what, what the? It actually comes with the stylus, my goodness, that's cool. Uh, my Wii U. I'm not sure if I uploaded like the unboxing video of it yet, but yeah, mine didn't come with the stylus and kind of color coordinated the Wii U and everything because I want to be able to differentiate between them. So I got a white one, which, well, I really got it because of those Tyco games, but it was white and I'm like, oh, I did that. Now I'm just going to open up all this Famicom goodness for you and then test the Famicom because I'm right next to the retro console testing area. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, see you guys in just a second when all this is out of this bubble wrap stuff. Ooh. Okay, just got all the Famicom stuff, including, like, you know, power, RF, console, which has a nice reset, good power, nice eject, and a little flap. <laughs> Also has both controllers, they're in good condition, it has good sticker quality with these ones still here. The only thing that's missing is really the uh, parallel port, whatever your connector port 
cover, like the little red cap. But, uh, yeah. I'll be, uh, just going to test it out before we end this video. So, yeah, just... You just... Come on, go in. <laughs> Oh wow, does it really go in that easily? I, I don't know. I think so, wow. That is a lot easier to put in and out of man. So, uh, yeah, I'll be just showing you how this is working and stuff in just a sec. I think I'll try with Jaredine, however you pronounce the name of it, and, uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the testing room. <laughs> okay, I can't really seem to get the Famicom to work at the moment, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably do some, like, oh, testing it and seeing it works. Maybe it's my TV, I don't know, I, I have no idea. Like, it's showing that it turns on, but there's no video. Maybe I'm just connecting it to the wrong port or something. Also, my TV probably doesn't go up to the right channel or something. I don't know. So, yeah, and when I open up the DHL package, I'm probably going to, like, do a little testing thing and put in the description of this video if this works at all. It should, because it showed that it worked. Same with the Famicom. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Alien Cup 1 signing off, and, uh... I have a lot of cleaning to do now. <laughs> oh, see you guys next time.